Hello again guys, this one is about tires. I've ridden this T7 now for 30,000 kilometers. I've gone through a few sets of tires, mainly in the 50-50 segment. Uh, I tried different brands and so on to find my favorites, which I did. So I will tell you all about that in this video. So stay tuned. So I will show you my worn tires. It's a little bit like posting your food pics on Instagram after you're eaten. But yeah, that's what I have. And I can, it's also good to see how they wear actually. So first off are the Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs that came with the bike. Uh, first off, I downsized from the big uh, BMW 1200 because I wanted to do more off-road. And these tires came with the bike and they're really good for uh, great asphalt performers and on anything that is hard packed and dry like yeah nice gravel roads perfect tires but I find that anything more aggressive than that uh, they, they sort of let you down especially for instance like this on if it's wet grass you will slip and slide on these tires and you can see there's no sideway uh, sort of traction here so it will really go sideways on these ones so I these guys have about 4,000 kilometers on them so I haven't really worn them down because I quickly changed to something a little bit more aggressive okay so next up are the Mitas E09 which is uh, true 50-50 tire, I would say. Um, they are sort of the typical 50-50 with a soft rubber, um, which gives it great grip on the tarmac, uh, in the wet and so on, on hard surfaces. And you still have uh, a lot of space between the lob knobs uh, and even sideways uh, grip, so the rear is a super tire in my opinion i got about 5500 kilometers out of this and i'm sort of the average sven when it comes to riding so uh, you can wear them faster of course um, so the rear love it uh, front i don't really understand because yeah they're quite shallow knobs and what you want when you ride off-road you want uh, especially the front tire to grip, be grippy and dig into the dirt so that you can trust them and they don't slide that much and in ruts they can climb, climb on the sidewalls and, and so on. So didn't like this one very much, didn't give me the stability I want. So yeah, great set in a way, they're okay, but I have other favorites really. So then we have the Motus Tractionator Adventure and these are quite special these tires in a way because they are super grippy. There is, they're not for vegetarians, there are so much meat on these, they're heavy tires, a lot of material and deep threads. So they are really puncture resistant, stiff, I, I barely need air in the tires when I have these on. So they're really um, like having a tank when you're riding this. Um, so you get great grip and amazing longevity. Uh, this rear tire, you see there are still a lot of meat left. I have 9,000 kilometers on it. So that's quite strange, isn't it? But so, so what's the comp compromise? Well, it's this rubber is much harder than on the other tires of course you have more of the rubber also um, which means they are great in warm climates i would say because that keeps them as soft as they can be but if you ride in sweden autumn it's cold and it's wet they stiffen up and you have to be really careful you say no to twisties and things like that when you ride these <clears throat> so 
if your focus is going on the rough roads, um, on long trips, um, these tires are perfect for that. Uh, I actually have them on now, a complete fresh set of adventure, motors adventure, uh, for a long trip that, we, that we're making, about 8,000 kilometers, and I expect them to last the entire trip. So, yeah, that's, this is my go-to tire for long adventure trips. <clears throat> Then I got curious uh, when visiting some forums, a lot of people uh, had this combo of Dunlop 908 Rally Raid in the rear and the Dunlop 606 in the front. So I had to try that out. They're quite pricey, uh, at least in Sweden. Um, so the rear reminds me a bit of the um, Tractionator Adventure from, from Motos because the rubber is a little bit on the hard side which makes them a bit slippery in cold wet tarmac situations but other than that it's a great rally tire and if you have as mentioned a knobby tire which lasts long you, you know you always uh, pay the price when it comes to uh, asphalt and, and curvy asphalt especially in the wet. So rear tire, I liked it a lot. I think I have about 6,000 kilometers on this and I can actually put this back on because it's quite a few kilometers uh, left on it. Uh, front 606, uh, I would not buy it again be uh, to ride that much tarmac that I still do because these knobs are really isolated they're they're really on their own not supporting each other so so they wear pretty hard and I also felt that uh, it was a bit sketchy I didn't find it stable and yeah I didn't really like this tire for my type of riding whatever that is so I loved the rear did not like the front so, last but not least, another Rally tire. These are the Mitas Rally Star. Uh, Mitas E13 and E12, they're called. But yeah, so, and they are also meant for rally riding. And the rear is really, really close to the E09 rear. Uh, except that you have a little bit more space between the knobs which means that you get a little bit more grip and self-cleaning function. So, and also worth mentioning is that these are the first tires that I tried that are 140 width. Um, so they are only for tubed tires. So it's a great reason to keep the tubes just in order to be able to buy these because this is my other go-to uh, set of tires uh, now um, because the rear loved it from the E09 pretty much the same thing great rear tire uh, the 140 size is no problem at all I didn't I didn't uh, feel any difference uh, the front is as you can see the pattern here is a little bit more you have a lot of knobs um, but they offer great grip and side stability and they're quite dense as I mean there are many knobs here so, so in a way they provided really really good grip uh, when I wanted it so I would definitely buy this set again so uh, and also they were cheap they're about 100 euro cheaper than any of the other sets uh, sets because they are tubed tires um, which are normally uh, cheaper so i think i paid 190 euros or something for this set so when i'm home riding in the local areas and so on i will have these tires on mainly and going on long trips, my go-to tire is the Motos Adventure.
So all these, these about 80, 20, 70, 30, 50, 50 and so on. It's not about how many kilometers you do because I would probably say I go 80% tarmac because I do a lot of transport and so on uh, and 20% off-road. But you have to decide how important is it uh, to you to have the right tires when you're in the environment that you like the best. So are you willing to sacrifice the twisties and so on and, and take it a bit more careful there um, to be able to have confidence and, and really trust your tires and off-road. So, and also if you're beginning, if, you, if you're looking at off-road riding and you're starting out, get a grippy tire, get a, at least a 50-50 tire because that will give you the confidence you need in that environment. So these are my experiences with these tires and I'm sure there are others that tried them and have completely different experiences. But yeah, so that's um, how it works. Opinions are like farts. Um, mine are the only one that smells good. So I hope this helped you in perhaps your future um, selection of tires or at least kill the few minutes of your day. <laughs> Hopefully at work paid time is the best. So yeah, see you around. Um, yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.